everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carr with Just Vegan In, where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle, and today you can probably tell by the excitement in my voice, and basically what we do most episodes is eat. So I did a takeaway from the Burger Company in Shoreditch. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get all that food in my face. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, because believe me, you do not want to be missing out on these good times. Little bit of a side note. So my normal camera woman, Alice Frick, as a lot of you know, wasn't able to film today, so I had to hire someone else. So I hired my girlfriend's dog, Bree. First of all, she's very cute, doesn't talk back, and she works for Bones. Let's see how her camera skills are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I've been running around like a crazy person today, basically over the weekend. I broke the camera lens on my phone, so I had to go get that fixed. So I went over to Shoreditch. And while I was there, I was like, let's pick up some vegan food because it is like a vegan haven. East London just has so many good vegan options. So I stopped in at the Burger Company. Let's see what I got. I do want to let you guys know that the Burger Company has a limited menu until May 14th where they have their like total normal full menu. But um, one thing that is not on this limited one is their vegan mac and cheese with truffle oil. Oh my gosh. Oh! I don't know that's the noise that kind of comes into my mind because I've obviously had it before it is so insanely good creamy and that truffle oil mm. so definitely one to check out after May 14th <laughs> I want to let you guys know that once their whole menu is available after May 14th you're like how many times can she say May 14th I can say it a lot <laughs> but when it once it is available they have other patty options as well for their burger patties not just the Beyond Burger meat patty so they make some homemade ones with like chickpeas and stuff like that so it's not necessarily like as processed as the Beyond Burger vegan patty is so just letting you guys know there's options and they also have some gluten-free options Ooh. But what I have here for us today, the New York Melt. So this is a Beyond Burger patty with cheese, gherkins, lettuce, tomato, and their homemade burger sauce. Burk, burk, burk. I got the crispy chicken burger, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is their vegan crispy chicken, their homemade ranch sauce. Cannot wait to try that. Lettuce, tomato, gherkins. Mm, get this in my mouth. I got the 50-50 fries. So basically it's sweet potato fries and normal fries. Oh my gosh. I love having the options. What have we here? These are the shroom dippers. So they are oyster mushrooms. Oh my gosh, that looks so insanely good. Don't you worry, none of that food's going to waste. I did buy the New York Melt for my girlfriend, so I will eat the rest of mine and she will eat hers later tonight for dinner. So don't you worry, no food will be going to waste. Whew, wow, I am stuffed. Those burgers, as a lot of you know, the Beyond Burger Patty for me is one of the most realistic tasting meat, well, vegan meat like burgers out there on the market. So, I mean, I knew that burger was gonna be good and it wasn't just good, it was great. It wasn't just great, it was fantastic. And of course they loaded it with some good cheese, nice and melted, mm mm mm, yum. And I loved the crispy chicken, nice crispiness, good consistency, very good flavors. I really like the homemade ranch sauce. Oh yes, I'll live on my face. Oh my gosh, those shroom dippers, Whoa. Oyster mushrooms are just amazing. And then of course, when you fry them up, even better. But biting into it, it really does almost give it though like a chicken-like texture to it. And of course, it's made with a vegetable. Oh yeah, but really, really good. And you know, hey, the 50-50 fries, gotta love them. Nice to go with the 50-50 fries because you get like one of each, best of both worlds. Oh yes, you know me, I'm greedy. I like the more, the better, yay. But 
The Verger Company, they have a few locations, one in Canary Wharf. I went to the one in Shoreditch, and I believe they also have one in Brighton. So definitely check them out. Really good vegan fast food. I mean, and like I told you, you have to get the mac and cheese. Oh my God, the mac and cheese. Uh, they also do milkshakes, and it's cool. They do milkshakes, and you could add like whiskey to it or whatever, just in case you want to spice it up a bit. And of course, they do just normal, non alcoholic milkshakes. But anyway, definitely check them out. So good, delicious. Wow, I just can't really speak their praises enough. Um, I don't think you're going to have a bad meal there. Try it, try it, try it. Whew, this lady is stuffed. Wow, it was a crazy hectic day for me. It's just kind of running all over London trying to get my phone fixed and then training clients. As you know, I'm a personal trainer and obviously eating some really good, delicious vegan food. Hey, and if any of you live in London or in the UK, please leave in the comments below some of your favorite vegan restaurants because I want to know. You know me, I'm nosy and I want to try them. And hey, everyone, thank you so much as always for watching and all the love and support. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Veganin and follow me on Instagram at Just Veganin.